Okay, I'm going to do a little walk through the junk journal that I made for my great granddaughter who is 10 years old. And uh, just all the the junk junk journal jewelry along the side here. <laughs> um, and this is the tie that holds it closed because it's definitely fat. And um, the co cover is made from an old book covered with one of my old shirts. A little letter in here to explain to her how to use it. And a packet of seeds. Miracles. This is from a book about Howard Pyle and his illustrations. Coloring page. And just, she's she's more into numbers than science. studying about the human body this year. She likes creepy crawlies and spiders and mushrooms. And gnomes. She likes gnomes. <laughs> As does her mother. <laughs> and owls and penguins. Dragonflies and butterflies. Old postcard. And she often wishes her little sister would be quiet. <laughs> This book took a lot more time than I anticipated, probably about 60 hours. And here you can see the things that were in the pocket. And this paper doll looks a lot like her little sister. And uh, 
So I have written on the back and encouraged her to design some new fashions that are up to date for her. And she does like to design fashions. And just some pretty papers to write on or draw on the back. This next page is just a pretty paper that I created. And <laughs> the back side has a magazine and a spider magazine picture. Here we're back into science and a pocket full of things. A frog, an angel, and a little gnome with a balloon. Another science page with a pocket full of things. These are the things from the top uh, vellum pocket up there. And these were in the bottom pocket. This page I created with alcohol inks. These are the things that were in the pocket over here. And you notice now that there's a spider visible where they where the things were hiding them. <laughs> and each of those cards in the pocket um, has room to write or draw on the back. blank page for her to do what she wants to with some things hidden in the pocket. Each of the things from the pocket also has room to draw or write on the back except the card with a question. Yes, and she also likes dancing and ballet although the dancing she's taking right now is clogging and she's very good at it. Here's another page, just um, a tea dyed paper and a music page and a pocket full of things again. It's an old postcard, not written on, and uh, these things, and of course owls she does like very much. And another insect. <laughs> All back in their pocket now. This is an image I did probably 20, 30 years ago. And saved a copy of it. And a few things in that pocket also. I really love this free graphic that was uh, given to us junk journalers. This is the back page inside cover and then just these pages of plain paper and another undersea one that she can draw on, doodle on. Here's a coloring book page. Um, And the back cover of the book. And here the book is, standing up all tied up. <laughs>